Hi, I finished my album with the Heartfelt Creations paper line that just came in on Saturday. And as you know, I like to bring in papers that are more unique that you just can't walk into your local scrapbook store, uh, big store and purchase. So I've used the first one, the, and I apologize, I can't remember the name. I have more of them. It is the Journey album, I'm calling it. Um, because it's all about going on a journey and I've made this album my own design I've looked all over for one like this a lady um, requested one similar but I could not find a pattern anywhere so this is my own design I will be having it available as a tutorial very soon it's a big album you'll see what I mean it will take me just a little bit to get it written up the cover measures over 10 inches wide with the extension and nine inches long and this album I made it in mind with the purpose of serving two purposes pictures and then journaling you can get in over 80 pictures I counted in this album so here's the front and like I said I'll just have to slide it up and down I just cut the words of the the paper now I I I don't know how and I I'm sorry I can't speak today how I miss this paper line because I do like like I said to bring in the very um, uh, papers that are not that you'll just walk into the store and purchase and I love this so I also make my own flowers they do carry all the die cuts that match each paper line so with their sunflower collection you can buy the die cuts of sunflowers and I will be carrying those in the store also because how much fun is it to have your own flowers match your album and when you make them with the paper line it's even better because then it looks like it all belongs together now I did use some of the um, bling for the outside from Bow Bunny and this this is a stick on but other than that I try to make my own embellishments so here's our cover now this does open now it's a very long album so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the left hand side and making this album is so much fun so for the front cover I mean of the left hand side the whole idea like I mentioned is this left side is going to be for mostly your pictures the right side and I'll show you as I'm going along how it kind of coordinates with each page so you're on your journey maybe family vacation summer or you just it's just a beautiful album you have this page here and then I made the right hand to kind of coordinate so when we open it you have this beautiful pocket and I use the paper to make um, my edging and then you do get all of these wonderful cutouts in your paper pack. That was just a piece of the paper. thought it was really nice just for journaling. Um, again, you can take this. That would be beautiful on the front of a card. Stamp a sediment. And then I wanted you to notice these images almost look like they're stamped images. They're very vibrant, very beautiful. Each paper line has its own unique personality. I fell in love with this one. So here's our second page. Oh, so here we have the pocket. And then again, here's our front to kind of coordinate. So you can put a lot of pictures on the left-hand side and then do a lot of journaling over here. Then we have a pocket on the front and again, the cutouts from the collection. They're just gorgeous. They really make your album fun. And this seam binding is the crinkle where you put it in your fingers and just crinkle it. I do carry it in the store now. Okay, and I have the spinner. So when you open your album, you have plenty of room for pictures. Now these pages are six by eight and a half. Nice size pages. Absolutely loved how the album went together. And if you were one that doesn't like hinges or you're having trouble maybe with the hidden hinge or or whatever hinge system you are using you're gonna love this this album so here we have a pocket oh let me show you so again 
you have the left hand side and when you come over here to the right hand side and you open it then you you have a, a journaling page that somewhat coordinates so I won't go back and forth just that time so we have another pocket we have a double pocket and this is on the cutouts you get like three of these on your your page to cut out some more of the the cutouts and again put this on a card sediment and center you've got a beautiful card and then we have two pockets here now if you're interested the paper kit will be available that I made this album with and it will include your lace and your bling and it will include this ribbon your seam binding ribbon so we have now we have a corner pocket with two more tags these will hold four by six pictures then you have picture space behind I'm when I open this you'll see I completely forgot to paper the top of my lab so I won't quite show you that I have to finish that one and then we have a place here for another picture and with just a few of the cutouts for our next page I did a fussy cut around part of this image that you could see and then I put the map behind so that a picture could go there and then one of the cutouts. Now everything I, I mentioned is from the paper line. The cutouts except for of course your lace and your tags and as you can see oh and your bling. You don't have to have a bunch of store-bought stickers and in the paper kit like the bling, the ribbon, the paper, everything you need to make the album and the flowers will be included. So here is a double pocket page and in the top pocket I've done a large mat, a medium, and a small. So lots of picture room, tons because they say real estate. Now over here now in the paper line you'll see some I've cut it apart you do get two sheets and they're made for a 12 by 12 layout so you can actually and I've used both of them or I'd show you you can just take that out if you're doing your layouts for a photo for your scrapbook album if you're not doing a mini album and just put some flowers on the side and you've got a beautiful beautiful um, layout 12 by 12 layout so here is our tag and then I left that that top one a little bit open and the flower so you can still slide a picture and it will go down around there a little bit and then the tag that will go into the pocket and you can fit a lot more inside that pocket and then a belly band and these are very large four by six tags and yes this is all from one paper pack this paper line all of this paper now for this album I did use almost all of it because it's so large now my waterfall is five inches by six inches and I did do a black a solid background so that there'd be plenty of journaling space or pictures and once again this is open. So there I still have more of the cut apart but I used like I said just about all of it and I have plenty though left over for cards and then on my spines here my computers in the way I just took and made a small pocket and these were some of the cutouts so maybe they want to put a date and then just glue it down or a little sediment or a little extra to add to the pictures. Okay, now on our right hand side, so I've only already shown you this page. The whole idea, like I mentioned before, was for journaling or pictures. So picture will fit here. And again, you can get some really good size three by fives. And then one will sit here. You can journal your date. And just nice big spots for pictures.
Okay, here was um, one of the sheets when I cut it apart. I was going to use the other side, but I just loved this. How fun to just journal in these little spots because this does match. Let's see, this, this is meant to go along with this page. So you've got some coordination here when it's opened. And then I did the same thing. Now this is one of those 12 by 12 layouts because you get one side that has for double pictures and one side is just for a large 8 by 10 size picture. So I left it for journaling. And then our last page. Now I'm going to go ahead and close that side. So as you can see this will close up. This one goes over. Now for in here it is one of my accordion pockets. And on each of my pockets I just took the frame that was for the 12 by 12 layout and I just cut them, cut it apart. thought it kind of was neat, told a little bit of a story. Did I get them all? No. And there's journaling, pictures, plenty of room inside of each pocket. Sorry, I just have to pull it up here so that I can put these back in. This is the same pocket that I make when I make my file box. Okay. So you can see how you can get 80 pictures in this album. The paper is gorgeous. I have almost all of their lines. If I don't have them, it's very quick to get in. And as you can see, what a beautiful album or any project that you make with this paper line by Heartfelt, any of their Heartfelt paper lines, you're going to absolutely love it. I have a lot more projects in the works so and keep watching if you're interested in this paper kit because I will have it up on the website really soon. Thanks for watching.